could you explain what the recommended acts are on the day of Eid? On the day of Eid, the first thing is that you should have ghusl. It's mentioned in Motta, page 240, hadith number 428. Nafi narrates, may Allah him, that Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be with him, he used to have a bath, he used to have ghusl before proceeding for the Eid Salah. So it's a sunnah that you have to have a bath before going to the Musalla for the Eid Salah. Number two is that it's also a sunnah that you should wear good clothes, adorn yourself, you should beautify yourself, you can wear new clothes, you can put coal in your eyes, put oil in the hair, you can wear perfume. But naturally, all these things for the men, the women are not recommended to wear perfume and adorn themselves when they go out, but naturally they should be in hijab, they should be veiled. This is talking about the men. Point number three is that the Prophet always had dates before he left his house for offering the Eid Salah. It's mentioned in the Hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, the book of two Eids, Hadith number 953. The Prophet ate dates before he left the house for offering the Eid Salah. And the fourth act is that the Eid Salah should be offered in a musalla, in a place, maybe on a big ground, maybe in the town or on the outskirts of town where all the people can gather in one place. It's mentioned in the Hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of two Eids, Hadith number 956. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu on Eid day, he went to the musalla and he offered the salah. And offering each salah in a musalla is a sunnah, rather than in the mosque. Though the Prophet's hadith is there, which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, the superiority of Masjid Harmain, Makkah and Medina, hadith number 1190, the Prophet said, praying in my mosque, that is praying in Masjid Nabi, is better than offering thousand times salah anywhere else, except Masjid Haram, that's Makkah. But yet, for the Eid Salah, the Prophet preferred leaving his own mosque and going to the Eidgah, going to the Musalla. That means, during Eid specifically, praying there is preferable than praying even in the mosque, even in Masjid Nabi. So this is the importance of praying in the Musalla. Furthermore, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of two Eids, Hadith number 986. It says that Muhammad when he should return back after offering Eid Salah to his home, he used to return back in a way different from the way he had gone. That means the route of the Prophet going from the house to the Musalla was different and the route of coming back was different. And this was maybe because he wanted to give salam to the different people, you know, both the ways and maybe the blessing would be to different types of people and the various reasons given by people why he did that. Furthermore, it's very important that Eid Salah should be paid in the Musalla. As I mentioned earlier, the gathering is bigger, psychologically is better, and we can, you know, show the God consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Further, it's the sunnah that we should go early to the musalla. The earlier the better, you know, so that we can be in time, we hasten to do the good deed. It's also mentioned in the hadith of Tirmidhi, hadith number 530, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, he used to go on foot when he used to go to the musalla. Offering each salah, he used to go on foot. So it's sunnah to go walking, to offer your each salah. And it's mentioned in the hadith of Sayyid Salah Sayyid, hadith number 171, that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to recite the takbir immediately after leaving home, till the time he reached the musalla, till the time he finished his salah, he used to say the takbir. And the most authentic talbiyah is what Ibn Masood had recited, mentioned in Dar al-Qutni. And Ibn Shayba, he used to recite, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillah alhamd. He used to recite, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillah alhamd, meaning Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There's no one worthy of worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. All praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the talbiya and it should be recited the moment you leave the home till the time you read the salah, till the salah is to end, this talbiya will recite Muhammad So these are the few recommended acts that should be done during the Eid day.